today we're having some crumbling session and we're gonna be looking at the first ever update to it. It's gonna be mostly about the mixed reality, although I don't remember if on launch I tried to play this game with hand tracking involved. So it will be kind of like two in one situation. I just wonder what's gonna happen with the mechanics like special moves of the cramblings and all of that. It says we can see what's the menu gesture. And I barely can see it because I'm in clouds. <laughs> so just like basic stuff, but interacting is like hand inside or like more like you'll be looking at your nails. So we'll see. Click. But really, I'm just interested how the actual fighting will be. I mean, with quest hat tracking it's kinda finicky as always although it's not very simple in terms of the actual gesture movements or better I need to just close my thumb on my fingers oh, I can also summon the actual fighting Controls. Jesus, it's so hard to see it. So everything has to be facing me. Dodging is full fist. Special ability, you stretch the hand. And attack is pinch. Also recenter though, so... Yeah, I mean, it picks up, so... We'll see, but... Where's the... Mixed reality stuff. Let's swing that mighty sword. Yeah, here's the thing, like to you pinching is the menu an actual overall across the system, so you just can't do it facing you, that's all. It all depends on the... <laughs> it all depends on the quest hand tracking and your control of your hand, which sometimes could be questionable. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the actual movement though. So let's see in combat. This is gonna be a struggle to talk. Let's show Berserkorp what we are made of. So calm down. <laughs> So, mixed reality. So, mixed reality works in the actual stages. Can I move the diorama? Can I move the diorama though? Yeah, it doesn't need to be fully stretched to actually interact, so... Like, it's very sensitive. <laughs> Wait, it's moving on the side. I'll get pissed off eventually with the hand tracking controls. 
It's just that it's not for the video. <laughs> So it kind of works. The precision can be a bit questionable, but that's because we're not using the controls. Oh yeah, apparently spike ball is actually enhanced or something, so I'll do that. Ah, uh, yeah, you have more control. The adventure never stops, shall not pass. The thing is that now... I don't necessarily feel confident in the gameplay, so... It's definitely way different compared to the controllers. I love how this video turned out to be hand-tracking clip instead of mixed reality. <laughs> Oh wow. Nice grab. Wait, actually my hand is going to hurt. <laughs> I'll switch. And now I have full control over. I can actually move the diorama. What's happening here? Okay. I already feel a tingle. Oh, what the? Yeah, I'm glad I switched to the controls because with the hand tracking? I don't think that would be pleasant. I'm just checking if it's precise. Because I feel like it's kind of guiding me. I mean, the turning is just a bit awkward, cause that's not me doing it. Okay. <laughs> Jackpot. I'm doing a metalogo. Yeah, I mean, I just have more confidence with the controllers, so... Hand tracking is very specific. So, like, in terms of the mixed reality, it doesn't seem too special, like, it's just an overlay 
of the actual game and then your environment, nothing really else. But then again, what would be the other thing? <laughs> about me Are we there yet? I like that in every moment you can just position the world Let's see what I am. Did I do this mission already? But then again, you have to like unlock the others. Now the movement is more pleasant. <laughs> of the night, the henchman sneaks onto the roof of Crumble's crafts and comics, and in his sack go all the bottles. Boris will be very pleased <laughs> indeed. But on his way out, the henchman makes a fatal mistake and loses a single bottle. The bottle unplugs and spills the contents onto the latest creation of Mr. Crumble, the brave Crumbling Knight. The henchman hurries back to Berserkort's secret lair, with its secret sign on its secret gate. <sighs> Boris awaits his evil minion, and is already brimming with anticipation. Unbridled, he splashes the stolen magic onto the most hideous abomination of all his toy creations, the brutal golem. A thunder rolls, a villainous laugh echoes through the night. Well, this can't be good. <laughs> uh, I wonder where those pages went. I would say the whole ordeal is just okay because the video did not ask for it, but in terms of the hand tracking, it's very sensitive and I would never put this over the controller comfortability and just the precision of it all. Also some hand interactions might be a bit weird in the grand scheme of things, but with mixed reality, I mean, it is that. There's not much really else going on, but it's not like the game asks for it. So you essentially have the core gameplay without the environmental 360, instead replaced with your own. And that's pretty much it. So I suppose it's fine. Although, for my standards, I kind of look past the usual solutions and look for creativity. Overall, it's decent enough. <laughs>